What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we got our best beginner's guide and one code for the brand new global launch mobile and PC game, Adelir Resoliriana Forgotten Alchemy and the Polar Knight Liberator. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. I am not familiar with this specific IP, so I'm gonna butcher the characters' names. I don't know how to pronounce them at all. But let's get into this. First thing is we got a coupon code. This is our global launch coupon code. It's all capital letters. It's AR666. Now the problem is I don't know where to enter it. I, I don't I, like I have I'm clueless. So hopefully somebody can at least help me out in this instance. We got one coupon code, but where do we enter it? I have no idea. I've asked in the Discord group. No one has helped me. No one. It seems like everyone is clueless. No one knows where to enter this global launch coupon code. Next thing I want to go over is for our summonings. You can actually get a multi roll a lot cheaper for global launch. So typically they're going to cost around 3000 of these gems in order to do one 10 pull. However, if you go over to the shop, and we go to where it says bundles. It's not going to show up now because I already bought it, but you are going to have two bundles right here that's going to cost 1500. So it's basically cut in half, it's slashed in half for the price for one 10 pull. So make sure you come into your bundles shop before you go ahead and just start wasting all of your gems on the summons and buy those two 10 pulls. You're basically getting 20 pulls for only 3000 instead of one 10 pull for 3000 so make sure you take advantage of that the next thing that's going to be really important is to get through the story chapter quest bottom right corner you're going to see right now i'm at chapter 131 the sweet spot is going to be chapter 226 once you get to 226 that is when you're going to have all of the content unlocked in this game so continue to play the game and you're going to unlock additional things like the developmental quest at chapter 17 we have the glow board at chapter 113 so that should be your main priority at least get to chapter 226 to fully unlock the game the other thing that's going to be also important is our guided missions. This is going to give you a ton of free rewards. I already completed the first board and I got 3000 gems for absolutely free. You're also though going to get a lot of these dreamer of the future pieces for this specific character. The character is not that great. It's only a one star originally when you get her. She's a free character. I believe she's like one of the main characters for the IP, but you are going to get a lot of her pieces so that you can go ahead and rank her up. Currently, I already got her to a rank two, so she's a two star, but she's still not quite like a three star if you were to pull like a, a SSR unit or something that's like a higher rarity. But nonetheless, it's, you know, free to play. You can get this powered up pretty quickly. You're also going to get other things like this. Now, uh, once we clear our second board, we're going to get this SSR Memoria. And these are just these cards. The cards are extremely, extremely important in this game. Let me tell you, these give you some crazy, crazy buffs to your characters. I mean, it's all percentage based stats. So these are definitely like, I would say the heart and soul of the game, aside from getting characters getting these memory cards right here and equipping them on the correct characters. That's another very, very important thing that I'm going to go over in a second. There's four different character types and then there's seven affinity types as well. So each one of these, depending on your equipment and your, your cards, they have very specific bonuses for certain things like boost your own skill damage. You have ones where while equipped on a supporter, so you need to know, is this a supporter? Is this attacker? What it is? Um, when a character has a slash affinity, it boosts their stun damage. Well, what does the slash affinity look like? So we're going to go over that right now. So if we take a look at our characters, in this bottom left corner right here, this is going to show you this little sword. I'm going to throw a screenshot up and it's going to show you all the different types. So we have four different types for our characters. 
We have a sword, which is gonna show you as an attacker. The next one is going to be a breaker. Now the breakers are gonna have this little ax icon right there, and it's gonna show you like a shield being broken. The breakers are extremely, extremely important. In fact, you need to have at least two, if not three, in your lineup. I would say probably two is a good sweet spot. And they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna break the shields and that way you can go ahead and stun the enemies. Next one is gonna be the defender and that's gonna have the little shield icon. And then the final one is gonna be support. Now from there, we then have affinities. And the easiest way to see what character's affinity is, is click on a character, go to equipped, where you're putting on their gear and their memory cards. And in the top left corner, right here where my mouse is showing, this is their affinity. So we got seven different affinities in total. We have four magic skill affinities. So we have the typical fire, ice, bolt, which would be lightning and then air. So those are pretty much your magic damage dealing characters. If you see those icons. Now we have three physical damage dealers and they have physical skills that are slash, strike, and stab. This is important because if you get a card like I showed you earlier, something like this, while equipped to a character with slash affinity, it boosts their stun damage. You don't wanna put this on a character who does not have that slash affinity because then you're really missing out on that. It's very important that you understand your character's types and affinities. From there, I just wanna go over a couple characters that I recommend you look out for if you do happen to re-roll. I'm not into re-rolling. I didn't re-roll at all, but I still got some really good characters. This character right here, the One Summer Story, this is uh, Riza, Riza, however you say her name. This is one of the cover characters for the global launch banner. I got her and I even got her like twice or three times because I got enough puzzle pieces to go ahead and rank her up again. So if you take a look, we got her at three and a half stars, which is pretty cool. Really, really amazing damage dealer. Honestly, one of the top damage dealers. She has this ability where after attacking, she boosts her own burst skill damage by 20, which can go up to a max of 100. We also have our special summoning star, which just deals a crazy amount of damage. You'll see 360% damage with a 45% stun rate as well. And then for our other ability, really, really strong. We got 425% damage after attacking. It boosts our own skill damage by 25% max 50 with a huge, huge stun rate of 79%. Uh, that is because I do have her ranked up as well. So this is a level two. But overall, she's a really amazing character to have. If you do get her, you're set. Another amazing one is going to be this one. And I actually just pulled her. This is the uh, Resna Innocent Dreamer. She is an amazing, amazing healer. She has abilities where after attacking, she just goes ahead and restores a percentage of HP to all allies. You're getting damage and free healing to all allies. I mean, this is like one of the top tier healers in this game, top tier supports. We also have her other ability after attacking boosts all allies crit rates by 25%. Again, we're getting so much AOE buffs. We're healing everyone, we're buffing everyone's crit rates. And then our last one, boost this attack's critical rate by 100%. After attacking boosts all allies critical damage by 30. So just an absolute amazing, amazing support. If you can get her, this is another one that I would try to re-roll for. I just got lucky and I ended up getting her. But those are two really strong heroes that I recommend that I've had personal use with and they have been insanely strong so far. That is it for right now. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. More videos to come on this game. It's a lot of fun, so make sure you're subscribed. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.